Ever wondered how to transform your living space into a thriving oasis of greenery? Well, you're in the right place. Let's embark on a journey to unveil the secrets of indoor plant care. In this video, you'll discover essential care tips that every indoor gardener must know to grow healthy, vibrant houseplants. Not all houseplants are created equal. Some thrive in low light, while others bask in the sun. So how do you choose the right one for your space? Well, it all starts with understanding your environment and the conditions you can provide. If your room is bathed in light, a sun-loving plant like the majestic rubber plant might be the perfect addition. But if your space is more of a shady retreat, then a peace lily could be your new best friend. Size matters too. If you're short on space, smaller plants like succulents or air plants might be the way to go. But if you have plenty of room to spare, why not consider a statement piece like the towering Monstera Deliciosa or the elegant fiddle leaf fig? Remember, the key to a thriving indoor garden is to match the plant to the place. Knowing your plant's needs is the first step to creating your indoor garden sanctuary. Overwatering is a common mistake. But did you know that the type of water you use can make a difference? Yes, the water you pour into your plant's pot is more than just H2O. It's a cocktail of minerals, some beneficial, some potentially harmful. Now, let's talk about watering your indoor plants. It's not just about frequency, but also about quantity. While some plants prefer their soil to dry out completely between waterings, others like to keep their feet wet. Researching your plant's specific watering needs is essential to avoid both under and over watering. The technique matters too. Water your plants slowly, giving the water time to soak into the soil and reach the roots. Pouring too quickly can lead to water running straight through the pot, leaving your plant thirsty and the soil nutrients washed away. And remember, it's always better to water thoroughly less often than little and often. This encourages the roots to grow deeper and stronger. Now, on to the type of water. Tap water is convenient, but it often contains chlorine, which can be harmful to plants. If you can, let tap water sit out overnight before using it to allow the chlorine to evaporate. Alternatively, consider using filtered or distilled water, especially for plants that are sensitive to minerals, like orchids or carnivorous plants. Rainwater is a great option too, if you can collect it. It's naturally soft and free from the chemicals found in tap water. But, ensure it's clean and free from pollutants, especially if you're in a city environment. Lastly, the temperature of the water can make a difference. Cold water can shock the roots, slowing down growth. Room temperature water is best, as it's closer to the natural rainfall that plants are accustomed to. Remember, watering isn't a one-size-fits-all task. Observing your plant and understanding its specific needs is crucial. Look out for signs of over or under watering such as yellowing leaves or wilting. Mastering the right watering technique is key to keeping your green friends hydrated and happy. Light is life for your indoor garden. Learn how to read the signs your plant is giving you about its light needs. Just like how we humans need a balanced diet, your plants also need a balanced light diet. Some plants crave the bright, direct sunlight, while others prefer the soft, indirect light. It's all about finding the right balance. Take the time to understand your plant's light preferences. Too much light can cause the leaves to scorch, while too little light can make them weak and leggy. Look for signs of distress. Are the leaves turning yellow or brown? Maybe it's getting too much light. Are they losing their vibrant color or becoming elongated? Perhaps it's time to move it to a brighter spot. Remember, the type of plant the season, even the direction of your windows. All these factors determine the amount of light your plant needs. Rotating your plants periodically also ensures they get light evenly on all sides. Giving your plants the right amount of light will ensure they grow strong and vibrant. Choosing the right soil and pot can dramatically affect your plant's health. It's like choosing a home. You want it to be comfortable, spacious, and well-suited for the resident's needs. When it comes to potting and repotting, these factors become pivotal for your plant's growth and overall well-being. First, let's talk soil. Not all soils are created equal. Your plant's roots need to breathe, and for that, they need soil that's light and drains well. A good indoor potting mix typically contains peat moss, perlite, and vermiculite. 
These elements ensure proper aeration and good water retention. Now, on to pots. The size of the pot matters. Too small, and the roots become cramped, hindering growth. Too large, and the soil retains too much water, leading to root rot. As a rule of thumb, choose a pot that's about 2 inches larger in diameter than the previous one. The material of the pot also plays a role. Plastic pots are lightweight and retain moisture well, but they can cause overheating in sunny spots. On the other hand, clay or terracotta pots are porous, allowing the soil to breathe, but they tend to dry out faster. Depending on your plant's watering needs and the location of your pot, choose wisely. Now, let's get to repotting. As a general guideline, most indoor plants benefit from being repotted every one to two years. This freshens up the plant's environment, provides new nutrients, and gives the roots room to grow. Repotting is simple. Water your plant a day before, then gently remove it from its current pot. Shake off excess soil from the roots and trim any damaged or excessively long roots. Place some fresh potting mix at the bottom of the new pot. Position your plant and fill the sides with more soil. Remember, don't pack the soil too tightly. The roots need room to breathe. Finish off by giving your plant a nice drink of water and placing it in a shaded spot for a few days to recover. Knowing when and how to repot is crucial to encourage your plant's growth. It's like giving your green friends a new lease on life. Next time you see your plant struggling, consider whether it might be time for a change of scenery. Feeding your plants is crucial, but too much of a good thing can be harmful. You see, plants, like all living things, need nutrients to grow and thrive. For houseplants, these nutrients come from the soil and the fertilizer we provide. Every plant has different nutritional needs. Some crave a high nitrogen diet to support leafy growth, while others need more phosphorus or potassium for flowering and fruiting. Understanding what your plant needs is the first step to creating a nourishing meal plan for your green friends. But beware, over-fertilization can be as detrimental as under-fertilization. Too many nutrients can cause nutrient burn, visible as browning or yellowing leaves. So, how do we strike the right balance? The key is to follow a regular fertilizing schedule. Most houseplants benefit from a monthly feeding during the growing season, which usually spans from spring to early fall. In the dormant winter months, hold off on the fertilizer. Balanced fertilizing will keep your indoor oasis thriving. Just like us, plants need a little grooming to look their best. Pruning is more than just a haircut for your green friends. It's an essential part of their health and growth. It encourages bushier growth, removes dead or dying parts, and helps to shape your plant. Remember, always use sharp, clean tools when pruning. Making clean cuts minimizes the risk of disease and damage. Now let's talk about cleanliness. You might not realize it, but dust and grime on your plant's leaves can block light and reduce photosynthesis. So, it's crucial to keep them clean. A gentle wipe with a damp cloth every now and then does the trick. For larger plants, you might even consider giving them a lukewarm shower. And there you have it. The secrets to pruning and cleaning your indoor plants. Regular grooming will keep your plants looking their best and enhance their health. Don't let pests or diseases ruin your indoor garden. Inevitably, your indoor oasis might encounter a few uninvited guests, such as aphids, spider mites, or mealybugs. Don't panic, there are ways to tackle these pests. Neem oil, for instance, is a natural, non-toxic pesticide that can help eliminate these critters. Disease prevention is just as crucial. Overwatering, inadequate light, and poor air circulation can lead to fungal and bacterial diseases. Prevent these issues by ensuring your plants have the right environment to thrive. Sometimes, despite your best efforts, a plant might still fall ill. In these cases, it's essential to isolate the affected plant promptly to prevent the spread of the disease to your other green friends. Consult with a local nursery or plant expert to identify the problem and determine the best course of treatment. Being proactive about pest control and disease prevention will ensure your plants continue to thrive. We've covered a lot of ground in this video, from choosing the right plant to pest control. We've discussed watering, lighting, potting, fertilizing, pruning, and keeping your plants healthy. With these care tips, you're now ready to transform your living space into a vibrant green oasis.